This man was removing snow from his yard. As a result, the next moment he stuck his head into the machine. It was clear that his death had nothing to do with the family's death. But the old man didn't dare call the police and dumped the body in the field. What really happened between them? This is the horror film of December 2020. All for Jackson, as usual today. Horror footage without coding. But there is a high energy warning countdown. Please watch with caution. An elderly couple are having breakfast at home in the early morning. One minute they're discussing how their clothes fit. And the next minute, they kidnap a pregnant woman from outside their door. Then when the pregnant woman woke up, she found a boy in front of her greeting her. And the old lady in front of her reads out an apology to the pregnant woman for their abduction. In order not to be discovered by the neighbors. They had soundproofed the house in advance, so that even when the pregnant woman called for help the house was silent outside. The old woman told the pregnant woman, don't worry, we're not going to hurt you or the baby in your belly. We just want to use the baby in your belly to get our grandson back. The pregnant woman looked at the boy and asked, is that him? And the old woman looked at the empty room in surprise and asked the pregnant woman what you saw. Our grandson is dead. At this point, the pregnant woman also suddenly noticed. The boy had a large bruise on the back of his head. The old man then went to work as usual. On his way out, he came across workers who had come to remove the snow. The old man was worried that they might find out that they had kidnapped the pregnant woman. So he asked the workers to come back at another time on the pretext that his wife was not feeling well and was not to be disturbed. In order to make the pregnant woman disappear more naturally, the old lady deliberately left the pregnant woman's mobile phone aside when she delivered the medicine. The pregnant woman also took the opportunity to call for help, but she was set up. The old lady used the camera in the bear to peek at the password of the pregnant woman's mobile phone. Then she used her mobile phone to post her friends, saying she wanted to be alone and relax. This way. The pregnant woman's disappearance would not arouse suspicion. Seeing this, I'm sure most of you are still confused and don't understand what's going on here. Now let's turn the clock back a few months. It turns out that the old man was a doctor at the local hospital, and he and his wife were both Satanists. They attend meetings every weekend. This bearded man was their parishioner, although he was not the organizer of the meetings. But his knowledge of Satanism is the deepest of all. Keep an eye out for this bearded man folks, because he's got a big part to play later. Believers believe in the power of Satan to bring people back to life. For this reason, the old man and his wife went to the trouble of finding an ancient book that documented the ritual of invocation. The old man had thought that raising the dead was just a legend. Then one morning his wife brought a dead bird to life right in front of him and in a single moment, giving them hope of reviving their grandson, as their grandson had been dead for a long time, so if they wanted to bring him back to life, they would have to find a newborn baby as a vessel for his soul. And that day a woman came to the hospital for a checkup. It was the old man who received her. It was revealed that she had accidentally gotten pregnant by meeting an online friend because of her strained relationship with her family. So she was still torn about whether to have the baby or not. But in the old man's eyes, it was the perfect vessel to revive her grandson. So the old man encouraged the woman to have the baby. And then the old man noticed the woman would walk past her house every morning. That's why. At the beginning of the film, the old man and his wife kidnap the pregnant woman who passes by their door. That night, the old man and his wife begin their ritual of invocation. But raising a human is much more difficult than raising a dead bird. They need to summon the demon god of death first. Then the power of the demon gods is used to bring the person back to life. As soon as the ritual began there was a reaction in the room. First, the pregnant woman twitched and the lights flickered and the spirit of their grandson appeared as well. At that moment a tall figure with a bird's head suddenly appeared behind the old woman. This must have been the demon god they had summoned. The demon god then looked at the pregnant woman and disappeared. At the same moment, the twitching woman returned to normal. Hearing the heartbeat in her belly, the old woman was so excited that she concluded that it was their grandson. Early morning, the old man had just woken up and was feeling very tired. His wife was dressing in front of the mirror. The old man suspected that the unusual tiredness might be a side effect of summoning the demon. Then the phone suddenly rang. But when he picked up the phone, it was his wife's voice that came through. She had left early in the morning to do some shopping. At the same time, the old man realized that if his wife was not at home, who was this person in front of him? 
Then when the person turned around, the old man was also stunned. He didn't know this old woman at all. And the other man flossed himself with blood all over his mouth. Until the wife returned home, the woman then disappeared. However, before the end of the day, the police came to the hospital to find out what happened to the old man. It turned out that the pregnant woman's co-workers had noticed that she had not only failed to show up for work, but also failed to reach her on the phone, sensing that something was not right. So they called the police. During the questioning process, the old man was very nervous and acted unnaturally. This detail was also noticed by the police. At the same time, the wife was also experiencing strange things at home. First, a child dressed as a ghost came to the door. Then they appeared in the house directly. The old lady couldn't stand it and went to chase them away. But then the child suddenly became very tall. She was so frightened that she screamed. But as the creature lunged at her, the ghost had turned into a white cloth. On the other side, the pregnant woman tried to get out of the handcuffs when she was unguarded. But suddenly she saw a black ghost with a plastic bag over her head under the bed. And he twitches and crawls onto the bed. He gnawed on her stomach. The old lady rushed to her door when she heard her cry for help. But the evil spirit turned around and attacked the old lady. At the critical moment, the old man returned home in time. Then the black ghost disappeared. Before she went to bed that night, the old woman began to question whether they were right or wrong to bring her grandson back to life. Afterwards, more and more crows gathered nearby, and they guessed it had to do with the summoning ritual. That's when the snow removal crew came back, and this time, the old man insists on clearing the snow for them, even though they refuse. The wife wonders if the frequent haunting of the house could be a mistake in the ritual, or that the spirits that had been summoned were not their grandsons. The old man told his wife that she could not be mistaken. When the baby is born in a few days, we will leave this place together with our grandson. The wife felt a little comforted by the old man's words. But then the snow removal crew suddenly stopped and shouted to them that you were right. Your grandson has come back. He'll be back with you in a few days. With that, he plunged into the machine. The yard was instantly filled with blood and flesh. The couple were overwhelmed by the scene. Then the old lady went to see the pregnant woman. The pregnant woman reminded her of her dead daughter. A few years ago, their daughter and grandson were involved in a serious car accident. The grandson died instantly. The daughter was not killed, but her injuries left her unable to care for herself. It wasn't long before their daughter finally chose to end her own life. Knowing this, the pregnant woman offered to help them with their newborn child. The pregnant woman said that you both needed help in your old age. Although the child's soul is your grandson, but he is still a piece of me. I love him as much as you do. Hearing this from the pregnant woman, the old lady also felt that there was some truth to this. On the other hand, although the snow removal worker's death was not a direct result of the couple's, but the old man didn't dare to call the police because the pregnant woman was still imprisoned in the house. Instead, he chose to dump the body and the car in the countryside. But no sooner had he disposed of the bodies than the police called. They wanted to talk to him about something important. The old man had planned to leave the police and meet them at the hospital. Instead, he was asked to visit the old man's home. Realizing that the kidnapping of the pregnant woman was about to be revealed, the old man was on the verge of an emotional breakdown. When he returned to his home, he found that the police had already discovered their crime. To protect his wife, the old man took the blame. But just as the pregnant woman was clamoring for the police to hurry up and uncuff her, she suddenly turned the gun on himself and pulled the trigger. It was a scene of shock for the elderly couple and despair for the pregnant woman. The old man then threw the policeman's body into the same place as before. After this series of encounters, the old man was so nervous that he could not control his trembling. Then suddenly there was a knock at the door. When he opened the door, he found out that it was a satanic cultist. Bearded. It turned out that Beard had heard that they had found the ancient book on summoning and had come to see what it really looked like. The old man told the bearded man. We asked several museum historians. The book was finally found in Jerusalem. But the strange thing was that the owner of the book seemed to want someone to take it away. Knowing that the old man and his wife had already performed the summoning ceremony according to the book's contents, the bearded man then told them, You have used the summoning of the demon god Selgate to bring your grandson back to life. In theory, he could do it. But this type of resurrection is not by invitation. Selgate is the demon god of the gates of hell. But when that door is opened, the spirits of hell come out in droves. So I guess your house must be haunted all the time these days. The old man and his wife then led the bearded man to the pregnant woman's room. After looking around, 
the bearded man told them. Your grandson's spirit is not here because your ritual is only half completed. Since the bearded man knew more about Satanism than anyone else. So the old man and his wife asked him to help them complete the rest of the ritual. In return, the bearded man asked for the book to be his at the end of the ceremony. And the old man and his wife were to pay $10,000 in return. Then they scheduled the ceremony for tomorrow. And before they left, the bearded man reminded them that if you don't want to be bothered by evil spirits tonight then you might consider sprinkling some salt around. To ensure that the next day's ceremony went smoothly they had to ensure the safety of the pregnant woman. So that night the old lady bunked down in the pregnant woman's room and the old man sat at the door to keep watch for them. After the old woman fell asleep, pregnant woman says to elderly, I wish I could take care of the baby with you. I spoke to your wife. Did she ever mention this to you? Although the old man did not answer positively, but the pregnant woman could also feel them trying to kill herself. At this point the body of the policeman suddenly appears and falls down again in front of them, swallowing the gun and then being inexplicably dragged away again. It is as if the moment of death is repeated over and over again. On the other side, the bearded man is at home studying the ritual of resurrection. His mother, who is calling him for dinner, makes him very impatient. Then when the bearded man arrives at the old man's house, he had just entered the room. The policeman's body reappears behind him and repeats the moment of her death. And the elderly couple, with a look of habit, told him that the corpse had been repeating the action in this way all night. Before the ceremony begins, they need to place a dead mouse in a designated spot in the yard. The old lady sat in the house and drew satanic designs. Then the bearded man reminded the old man, you will have to kill the pregnant woman yourself as a sacrifice during the ritual. If you hesitate, then we may all die. On the other side, the pregnant woman knew that the old woman was just being perfunctory. They had no intention of leaving her alive. So she took advantage of the old woman's departure. She struggled to free herself from one of the handcuffs. She spilled water on her bottom and pretended her water had broken. Then she broke the glass of water and hid the pieces under her pillow. When the old lady arrived and found the pregnant woman in labor. So, she rushed out to get her husband and the bearded man to come back and start the ritual. When they arrived in the house. But the bearded man looked at the pregnant woman and was a bit distracted. And as he entered the house. He accidentally kicked the salt that had been scattered on the doorstep. The ceremony had just begun. Yolanda, the organizer of the weekend party, called the old man. It was the same woman from earlier. The caller asked if the old man had seen the bearded man. If he had, he had to be careful. It turned out that someone had found out that the bearded man had killed his mother, and he had drawn a bunch of strange symbols on the wall. The police suspected that this might be related to a cult. Then they brought all the other people from the church to the police station. As to why the bearded man killed his mother. I think it was because he got angry when he called him for dinner. Although the old man felt that the bearded man was different from his usual self. He didn't say anything more for the sake of the ceremony. He just secretly warned his wife to be careful of this man. At this point the bearded man suddenly took off his shoes and carved an inverted cross on the bottom of his feet. The old man asked the bearded man, how can you be sure that the spirit invoked in the ceremony is our grandson? But this simple question angered the man. The bearded man said angrily, you'd better shut up. The pregnant woman took advantage of their distraction and quickly pulled the old woman to her side and put a shard of glass against her neck. The old man was blackmailed into uncuffing himself. Although the wife and the bearded man did not agree. But when faced with the choice, the old man gave up the ceremony and chose to save his wife. Seeing that the old man was not following his orders, the bearded man then rushed straight to stop him. He not only took the key to the handcuffs, but also stabbed the old man's wife to death. The old man watched as his wife fell into his arms. The bearded man was excited and felt that the devil was coming. It turns out that the bearded man never intended to help the old man bring his grandson back to life. He only wanted to use this ritual to summon the devil to earth. At that moment, the pregnant woman who had climbed out of bed, the shard of glass in his hand was thrust into his calf, and as the salt was kicked out of the doorway, this caused an evil spirit with no eyes to rush in and drag the bearded man out of the house. The pregnant woman struggled to reach for the handcuff keys that had been snatched from her, but she doesn't notice the black ghost with a plastic bag over his head reappear. Just as the evil spirit was closing in on the pregnant woman, the old man helped her unlock the last shackle. The old man knew there was no way out and urged the pregnant woman to leave. At that moment, the old man suddenly spat out blood and a monster came out of his body. The pregnant woman was so frightened that she ran away. She came downstairs and found that the place had been overrun by all kinds of ghosts and spirits. There are Eve's ghosts that are gnawing at the bearded man, a flossing ghost with a mouth full of blood, and a little ghost in a white cloth. 
Just as she was about to leave the house, she found a large spirit guarding the door, and then the pregnant woman was frightened back into the house, to the kitchen. He found the body of the policeman still here, but when he went to get the car keys from the table, the body suddenly opens its eyes and repeats the moment of death. Outside the house, the bruised and battered bleeder was still at work. He mistook the pregnant woman for his wife, Jenny. At this moment the devil has completely crawled out of the old man's body, he had four horns on his head, and this corresponds to the symbols of Satanism. Then he slowly walked downstairs. Before the pregnant woman left, she saw the spirit of her grandson standing by the bed upstairs, but the next moment it seemed to be carried back by someone. The pregnant woman drove for a long time after leaving, it was getting dark, then a strange figure suddenly appeared in front of her. However. The other person only turned his head to look at her and then chose to leave. But the pregnant woman felt the heartbeat of her baby suddenly become visible. This is the end of the film all for Jackson.